Governor Ali Hassan Joho is holding an aid baraza at the Treasury Square. We're now joined live by our reporter on the ground, Peter Mongangi, who's covering the baraza. Peter, good afternoon. Once again, good to see you. And I see you are also celebrating it, but you're at work. Tell us more about this baraza, which is an annual event. I remember the one for last year, the exchanges between uh, Ali Hassan and uh, the Marwa, and uh, that's probably something that is not expected this time round, but they are driving the peace message. What else are we hearing from them today? Thank you, Ken. Yeah, uh, already several leaders have already started addressing. We have about three members of parliament have already, uh, already addressed the residents here. We had Omar Mwini, that is a sitting member of parliament for Changamwe, as well as Rashid Bezimba, that is a member of parliament for Kisauni. And uh, right now, uh, and we also had Badi Tualib of, of Jomvu constituency, and now who is the one addressing residents here is uh, on, on, my, on my right, if Karim can just pan to my right, is Mishi Boko, who has been the woman representative here in Mombasa County, but she is now seeking the Likoni uh, constituency seat on an ODM party ticket. M many of the aspirants here, or rather candidates who are attending this particular event, are uh, from the Orange Democratic Party, or rather leaders who are seen to be allied to the governor of Mombasa, Hassan Ali Joho. They are the ones who are attending this function. And already they have already started addressing a number of issues that have been affected that have been affecting uh, uh, residents here in Mombasa County. And key among them are uh, Ken Mijungu. We've seen about two speakers addressing the issue of insecurity. There have been um, a, an, an issue about uh, young people being involved in crime, especially here in Old Town, which is not very far from where I'm standing right now, as well as in Kisauni areas. And last night, actually, uh, in Old Town area, uh, um, angry members of parliament, uh, angry members of the public uh, confronted one uh, suspected criminal and they uh, killed him. Uh, that suspect is known as Mohammed Boboch, Bobocha and these are some of the issues they are talking about. They are saying they are not satisfied with what uh, the government or rather the authorities have been doing in terms of addressing insecurity. So that is one of the biggest issues being addressed right now by the leaders in security as well as the representation of Muslims in the, in the national government and they are saying uh, the National Super Alliance Coalition will be the answer uh, to some of the issues that have been uh, affecting Muslims as a community as well as the coast region in particular, Ken.